all right so today i'm just going to show you real quick how to modify the brake pedal of the logitech g29 because by default you know out of stock it's not good you know um, um it's uh it's not linear you know uh, it's very easy to press initially and then it's gonna like, kind of like lock up right it's not good so i had to uh, modify it a little bit and i'm going to show you here how to open this um, pedal set and then how to uh, do that modification that I've done. So very first thing that we're gonna do is to get uh, some precision tools because um, this pedals here, uh, the face plate uses um, like a star. So just um, remove this face plate so we can remove the cover. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so yeah, we got uh, three, of course, pedals here. Um, just remove those because it's kind of like um, gonna lock up the cover. So see, it's using a star there, right? Uh, I don't know if it's a hexagon or something, but you need to use the precision tools, like the one that I've got on the right side here. Um, yeah, just go ahead and remove that. Now, by the way, if you notice, there three positions as a matter of fact they can use let me just try to zoom it here um, you can actually adjust right when you when you're putting it back you can either put it on the leftmost part here in the middle or on the right side right depending uh, on your preference so me I put it on the rightmost side and then the clutch on the leftmost side right most side and then the brake on the middle so that they have some adequate space for my big foot <laughs> all right so once you uh, remove those um, face plate, just go underneath and, um, you know, we're going to remove the cover. Mine is mounted on a, on a, on a holder here, so I'm just going to remove that. All right. <clears throat> now here, um, you got a lot of screws that you need to remove, right? I believe it's total of uh, 14 screws. So, but it, all of them are silver screws, right? So let's just go ahead and remove it. Um, it you know this bottom part has black screws so you don't need to remove those blacks right just this kind of like um, silver um, screws those are the screws that you need to remove it's two three uh, four um, let me see uh, five six seven eight uh, nine ten there are two in the bottom eleven twelve thirteen fourteen um, yeah, so there are two uh, inside the carpet holder there. So make sure you open that up and uh, remove those two as well. All right, now that you remove removed all of the screw, you can just uh, lift up the uh, cover here, remove the cover. Now be very careful here because there's a cable that is very tiny here, <laughs> and very easily broken, um, these cables here. So don't just pull the cover or snap it because it's just gonna cut, it's just gonna snap those wires, right? So we have to remove this screw here that is kind of like locking the cable for the um, outlet or for the connection towards the uh, wheelbase rather. So just unscrew that, right, like so. So you can just easily um, pull that rubber grommet there and remove the actual cable. All right, so you can now remove the cover without any problem right now um this one it got left and right screws again the the star screw like what we've got initially on the pedal so just remove them now we're dealing with the uh brake only so we're not really going to handle other if you want to do something else on that one you can do so but we're just removing the brake here so look at that now once you remove those screws um of course the middle part is just gonna come loose like that and this is where you get inside now this is not the stock anymore right this is the modified version that i've got here but let me show you real quick the middle part is the rubber thingy that um, it has out of the box and then i just added some foams on the top and the bottom which is uh, more um softer a little bit softer than the rubber because the rubber is pretty tough now if you notice, this is the rubber that came um, from the box, you know, from, from, from the store and, you know, the, like the default setup of that. The problem of this is um, this rubber is really, really tough, right? It's very hard to, uh, to press. 
and it's just around the half of it. So the first half is very soft, just a spring. And then when you meet that um, rubber, it's just going to be super tough. So it's not linear. It's, it doesn't feel good. So we're going to add this foams that I just got from somewhere. If you have some foams or eraser or anything softer like that, that's going to that's gonna work. This is a little bit tougher foam, not just the usual one, kind of like a rubber foam. But it works wonderfully. All right, so we're going to put it like so, you know, like on the bottom of the pot so that it's just going to be balanced. You can also put it like on the top, you know, it doesn't really matter. It's going to be the same essentially. But the rubber there is pretty big if you notice. So I want to um, cut this a little bit, right? The rubber itself. So look at this. This is very um, tall. So I'm just going to remove probably about 10 the 10 percent 15 percent of it just to make it a little bit smaller so that the um the foam will have more space right so this is the finished product after cutting it i think that's 10 20 percent 15 percent maybe but yeah i removed just the uh upper part of it make it a little bit smaller right so it's not all tough rubber and then put the foam uh above and uh on the bottom right so in this way it looks more uniform right more balanced if you notice a little bit softer uh, on the top and the bottom and then a little bit um you know harder with the foam not so much and then in the middle it's gonna be tough because of the rubber right so it's kind of like linear now so let's go ahead and put it back um it's pretty easy i mean you know putting it back it's just exactly the same as you know you remove it just reverse it so let's put the uh, screw here again. And again, just be very careful on the cable when putting back the housing. Um, you know, you want to make sure that it's good. Now, if you notice, the, the uh, play is very minimal now. That means it's going to activate the, the um, potentiometer, the one that's using, easily. And it's more on linear form now. Unlike before, that it's just going to lock up your, your brake. Because what's happening before is it's very soft in the initial part, right? So your feet will like press it accidentally really good. And then it's just going to be harder. So your brake already is already locked up, you know, before it even triggered the rubber. So that's the problem. And if you want to really brake hard, you're going to have to press hard. So it's not good. All right. So we're done. Um, that's it. All right. It's pretty easy. I'm now going to show you uh, the play and uh, hope it helps. Hope this helps.